Uh, yeah, Urban Therapy with Sun, you know how we do. We gonna get this down, I'm doing it for you. Every day we always on the cam and on the microphone. Yeah, we stand, we make sure that the scams don't get run. And we gonna talk about some serious things and plus add some fun. Yeah, I love you lay a few tracks down and rap now. I make sure that we lay the smack down. Yo, everything is gonna be okay. I say it all the time because I know that it will because I shine. And you do too, the sun is all right and everything's gonna get real sunny and bright. Yo, a pretty day, uh, it's kinda overcast, but I know that sun is bright and it will last. Every day it comes out, we do the route. I'll give Stacy White a shout out. Thanks for coming through, y'all. What up? It's the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. I am your host, Sun752, and we are in motion. Uh, yes, we are, yes, we are. We do this thing, yeah, we like stars. Word. The Urban Therapy with Sun Show. I'm your host, Sun752. And today, on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show, we talk about messing around with a bald head. Messing around with a bald head, baby, what you know? You know, when you're dealing with somebody who is experiencing hair loss, it can be a very, very serious and sensitive subject for a lot of people. You know, when you see your crown starting to go down, you combing it, this going on the ground. Or in the sink, it can make you think that you're on the brink of destruction. But that's not really true. You just got to change up the things and the ways that you do. And you can get there. You can get it back. Or say what you got. You know how to act. And we're going to learn today. We're going to all take a turn and say, yo, I'm going to keep my hair. Or I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to make sure that when I know, when I know better, I do better. We're going to do this thing and we'll never let up another person define our looks we're gonna get this thing and put the show in the books urban therapy with sun sun 752 messing around with a bald head male or female when you're dealing with a, a man or a woman who is losing their hair and they were the type of person that really value their hair yeah it can be a long road it really can it really can so you know it's not the end of the world I tell you firsthand, it's not the end of the world. But just because I was able to deal with, with, with that, that situation, it doesn't mean that everybody can. So if your man or your woman is starting to go bald and they're losing their hair, y'all might, you might be getting in arguments, irritating fights, little pick, nitpicky type of things. And you don't know where it's coming from. It could be because they feel insecure. They feel like, you know, they're getting older. Or they feel like they're not as handsome or as beautiful as they were before. And it can really start to get in the way. So that's what we're going to talk about today. This afternoon, 1 p.m. on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. Yo, it's 1 p.m. over here on the East Coast. Wherever you are, let me know what's going on where you are. Because like I said, it's not really a sunny day today. It's kind of overcast. But um, hey, we make it last forever, forever. Don't let our love in. What's going on, King Jr.? Thanks for coming through, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Salute to you. Yo, let's talk about this thing. Let's talk about this thing. This whole thing about hair loss. Hair loss, hair loss can cripple the good feelings of a lot of people, man. You know, not everybody deals with hair loss in the same way. Some people really, really get upset that they are losing their crown. Some people feel like, you know, they're getting older or they're not as, they're not as, like they don't have it. You know how people be like, you know, I, I, you, you especially hear women say things like, yeah, I still got it. I still got it. Mean, meaning that they're still beautiful. They're still pretty. They're still attractive. They can still have men all up on them, you know, trying to get with them, trying to get their number, trying to be with them. And not that, not that they really need to be with a bunch of men or not that they're out there looking for anything, hunting for anything, but it's nice to still be appreciated like you were when you were younger. You know what I mean? You know, even if it's, even if it's a situation where people might have, where you may have flee people off of you. It's good to know that you were a choice. You were not not just an option of, the, of theirs, or even if you were an option, you were the first option instead of, you know, like, well, I couldn't get nobody else, I'll get you. So, you know, when a woman starts to lose her hair, and and we we, we got a lot to talk about when it comes, comes to this, but yeah, when a woman starts to lose her hair, 
it can be really a, a really, really confusing time for her. It can because women are supposed to have hair. At least that's the way we look at it. We look at it like women are supposed to have hair, or have long hair, longer hair than men. But it's not always that way, as we as we clearly can see. You know, you you talk about somebody like Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg has probably had longer hair than his wife has his whole her, his whole life and her whole life. And you know, I came from um, y'all know. I went out of town. I went up to see my peoples up in Milwaukee this week. And what what I noticed up there, and that, that was what inspired me to do this show. What I noticed up there is that a lot of dudes up there wear their hair long. Braids and shit like that. Like down here, we wear braids. But after a certain age, you don't really be wearing them. You know, eat, down here, they wear dreads. But that, you don't see, it's not, you're not going to see that every other person. Up there, I'm seeing dreads all the time. Dreads all the time. Dreads all the time. Down here... And over here, you'll see you'll see a lot of me. You'll see a lot of beard, uh, a lot of bald heads, and a lot of beards. So it's a, di it's a different demographic, you know. I for a few days I'm seeing a lot of men who have longer hair than their women. The women wearing weaves and 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 wigs and stuff like that, but the man got these long braids and and they getting it down like that. And to each his own. I'm not dissing nobody, but there's a clear difference. And and the way that they present themselves and and what they accept or reject. So I figured let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's how we're gonna do it on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Hit the like button when y'all coming up in here, man. Why not? I'm gonna give you all I got. And I'm gonna go and give you all that you pay for. I know that y'all don't pay for it. But what I mean by I'm gonna give you all that you pay for, I mean that we're not gonna slack over here. And plus Hitting the like button is not going to hurt nothing. All it does is help the channel. It helps the channel. That's it. And if you're wondering how it helps the channel, it helps the channel to grow by getting me into the algorithm. Now, if you don't want me to be in the algorithm because you just want to listen to the show by yourself, I think that that's a little weird. Because people normally like things that other people appreciate as well. Not saying that you want to be like everybody else. But, you know, simple logic is like, well, nobody else wants to listen to it. What's going to make me want to listen to it? Anyway, please hit the like, hit the like button, share the show, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, this is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. I am your host, Sun752, and we are talking about messing around with a bald head. Messing around with a bald head. Have you ever dealt? Ladies, have you ever dealt with a man who was losing his hair? Have you ever dealt with a man that was losing his hair. See, men are trying to play it off like it ain't no big thing. Meanwhile, they're suffering in silence. You know, he might be combing his hair or brushing his hair and he's seeing that hair go in the sink. And he's like, yo, yo, is that going to replenish itself? Is that going to come back? Am I, you know, am I, it, it, what's, what's happening? It's like, it's like you ever take a shit and you see blood in, 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 in the toilet. You know, you have like a little bit of blood in your stool. It could be that you were pushing too hard and you might have messed around and, and, and made a hemorrhoid come down and ruptured it. But you might be looking at it like, oh, oh, my God, this is symbolic of a bigger problem. I might have cancer. I got colon cancer. Let me go to the doctor. I got to get a biopsy. Prepare myself for chemo, radiation. It's not that deep, you know. So with hair loss, you might be thinking, oh, my God, I'm about to lose all my hair. Shit is fucked up. But you could just actually be going through a stressful situation or maybe something that you did with your hair, something that you put in it, whatever, might have, have stressed the, the follicles. So it could be a temporary situation. It doesn't always have to be uh, an indication that something bigger is wrong with you. It doesn't always have to be that way. Loud enough says, why did the snake ask T.D. Jakes? What did, oh, I'm sorry. What did the snake ask T.D. Jakes? What did the snake ask T.D. Jakes? I'm interested in the answer. And the name is Jerry with a capital J. It says, oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say bald head, not 
not ball sack auto correction these days is crazy got nothing i got nothing taylor morgan says hey what's up man hey what's up to you thanks for coming through y'all appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it so yeah have you ever dealt with somebody who was experiencing hair loss have you ever experienced hair loss yourself you know because a lot of times when something is going on with a person, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, something that, that distresses you, you know, you might not always want to share it. Sometimes you might want to figure out what's going on for yourself. But in you you keeping the the problem under wraps, you might you might uh, get irritated if somebody is pressing you to do something i'm asking you a lot of questions you may you may snap at them and you're not trying to be mean or whatever but you may have this thing going on with you that you're not expressing or that you don't want to express or not ready to express or don't know how to express it but it's something going on with you and it's personal and your hair loss journey might be something that's personal to you and because you haven't shared that with anybody nobody knows what's going on with you so they are feeling the brunt and the attack of your irritability they ain't doing nothing but acting the same way that they was acting before but because you're worried about your health you're worried about your appearance you know you're coming off a certain type of way and you may not even know it and if somebody brings it to your attention, you might you might not even acknowledge it. You might say that, nah, that's not it. I don't know what you're talking about. You you bugging. It's not me. It's you. It's not me. It's you. It's not me. It's you. Not me. You. 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 Matthew Lambert says, my ish creeping, bruh. What's that? Stress got me going to a full, a full, full cold, cul-de-sac. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Taylor Morgan says it's 9 p.m. here. Wow, where are you? Eight hours in front of us? Where are you? Where are you? I'm, I'm interested to know where you, where, where are you? That's what's up. So, yeah. So, if you know that when you're going through something stressful, that, that it may make you irritable, you may snap on somebody, you may be rude or inconsiderate, um, to somebody, it, not pers not purple purposefully, not on purpose, but because you need a little time, and but you haven't expressed you you haven't expressed that with anybody, so they don't know they don't know what's going on with you. So if you know that that could happen with you, you know it could happen with somebody else. So when somebody starts acting different for a while, they're not themselves. They they. You catch them, you catch them crying or you catch them, you know, acting hurt or depressed or sad or lethargic or tired and not wanting to do the things that they, they normally do. They may not be sick. They may be stressed. They may be going through a depressive episode. They starting to wear hats a lot. Head wraps, things like that. There are a lot of things that people do when they are losing their hair to kind of hide the problem you know what i mean the problem is up here so they they covering it trying to hide the problem trying to figure out some kind of way in order to to get this thing under wraps to experience some kind of normality max george oh wait wait oh wow yeah oh dad taylor morgan you from iran with a name like taylor morgan Okay, well, shout out to Iran. I ain't mad at y'all. The United States government might be mad at y'all, but I, ain't, I don't have no problem with Iran. Do your thing. All right, and um, Matthew Lambert says, hair loss can come from hats too. You're, you're right. You're right. Not giving, never giving your hair uh, a chance to breathe. Never, you know, pretty much smothering the follicles and stuff like that. Hair loss and gray hair, if, in case y'all don't know, is honestly indicative of cardiovascular issues. Now, don't don't panic. 
That's not to say that you're going to have a heart attack. It's not to say that you're on your way to, you know, um, having uh, what's the things you have to clamp um, that they clamp on your on your chest and uh, electrodes. It's, it's not to say that, but it's, it is symbolic of the hair follicles not getting enough oxygen to be able to reproduce or to be able to stay the dark color. So that's where hair loss comes. I mean, I'm sorry. That's where gray hair comes from. If you didn't know. And if you don't believe me, you can always Google it. You can Google it. You can research it. You can find it out. But yeah, Matt, Matthew Lambert. Yeah. Wearing hats all the time is not a good look, but it's funny because some people wear hats all the time and don't go bald. And then you have some people who never wear hats and they go and they do go bald. Go figure. What are we going to do? Max George says, yo, what's up, brother? Can I get a donation to a good cause? I don't know. I don't normally donate. I give, but I don't normally donate. You know why I don't like to donate? Because when you make a donation, you, you're often given to an organization. And you know what happens when you give money to an organization? They take it. They use it. They steal it. They don't put it where it's supposed to be. So normally, if somebody needs something and they ask me for it, I give it to them. But I don't normally like to give it to the company, even the church. Like, no, I'm not giving no money to the church. You know, if I go to church with somebody or if somebody invites me to church, because, you know, you invite me to church, and I'll go. I'm not going to keep going, but I'll go and I'll put money in the collection plate. But now you're not getting me on the tithing schedule. You're not going to get me to, to start uh, um, filling in the, filling up that envelope. Not going to happen. It's all good, though. Now, I ain't mad at nobody. <laughs> KB says, old head, good looking out. Max sure says, damn, was going to hate you, but speaking facts. I mean, I, mean, I ain't trying to. I ain't. <laughs> Listen, man, I come in peace. You can still come in. You can still come in and troll. I ain't going to. You know, you know, one thing about this show. I will not stop you from trolling. The only way I stop you from trolling is if you keep other people from being able to write. So you know how some trolls will write something disrespectful and just copy and paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, and you can't see anybody else's comments. That's the only way I get you up out of here. Other than that, it's freedom of speech over here, man. Do your thing. Do your thing. But we do talk about topics here. We do talk about topics here. All right. He says... How do you resolve this? Yeah, when it comes to hair loss, Max, I wish I knew, man. I wish I knew how to stop hair loss. You know, what, what's that shit they, the, the people still use? Rogaine? I think that's for people who have probably just started losing their hair. Because I heard that Rogaine actually works. And I remember that around the time when Rogaine came out, there was this other shit that was like a prescription that you could get. But I heard it was causing infertility or something like that. And, you know, I think they took it off the market. I never hear about it anymore. And I can't remember the name of it. Was it Propecia? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, my G. Let me see. Was it Propecia? What is Propecia? I think it was. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it was Propecia. What does Propecia do to your hair? By blocking the effect of DHT, Propecia slows down hair loss in some cases, even reverses it. This leads to thicker, healthier looking hair as your hair follicles get the nutrients they need. But for Propecia to have an effect on hair loss, one tablet must be taken every day. See, I haven't heard of Propecia in a while. It says, how bad are Propecia side effects? Let me see. In clinical trials, 1% or more of men who took Propecia suffered 
erectile dysfunction. Erectile, they suffered erectile dysfunction, decreased libido, and or ejaculatory disorder. I don't, I do not know what ejaculatory disorder is. I don't know how to stop hair loss. I wish I knew. But more importantly, I think it's more important to learn how to live with, with your changes that are going on with you. I think that's the most important thing. You have to learn to love yourself, your true, natural, or developing or evolving self. So, you know, you might like yourself at a certain age or a certain time frame in your life, like maybe in high school, you was the man, homie. Maybe in your 20s, you was really coming into your own and, and really digging yourself then. Maybe in your 30s, you were starting to learn, starting to have children, really starting to like the, the the man or the woman that you that you had become maybe you want to hold on to those times so when you start to see yo your swag is a little different because you're learning different you're moving different and maybe you don't want to be different maybe that safe space is where you wanted to be in your life or stay but you know they say change is hard the only thing harder than change is trying to stay the same it's almost impossible to stay the same. When you learn things, you change. Even internally. Internally, your cells die and regenerate every day. The organs in your body, they are changing. So on the inside, you can't stop change. But we try to stop change on the outside. Learn to appreciate where you're going and enhance that. That's what that's that's the only advice I can give you. But I don't know how to stop hair loss. I started I started losing my hair when I was about 32. The writing was on the wall at 32. So I cut my hair down. I had always cut it down at times anyway and rock waves and all of that kind of stuff. But this time I was like, it's probably going to stay down. And I, I knew the writing was on the wall. My, my, my little brother, he was already losing his hair. My man's in them. He was losing his hair. It was other cats around me. I, I saw it. I ain't and on my mom's side of the family, and they say that you get baldness from your mom's side of the family because my dad had a full head of hair, full head of hair, old head, full head of hair, afro. But on my mom's side of the family, I was like, mm, I got about a snowball, snowball's chance in hell. But nonetheless. Hold on. All right. Taylor Morgan says, we hate our government, dude. Okay. Y'all hate y'all government in Iran? Okay. All right. Well, we hate our government here. Not Maybe not everybody on the same level, but I don't, I don't agree. That's for sure. I don't know the solution, but I don't agree. And I'm sorry. I'm reading these. I'm, I, re, I, I normally read the comments. You know, in order as they go. I know that y'all probably talking about something totally different. I'll get to it. I normally just go down the line. I like to, you know, make sure I get the information. And and thanks for everybody for coming through. This is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. As a matter of fact, let me do the intro. Urban Therapy with Sun, Sun 752. And this is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. We do this every single Saturday from 1 p.m. till around 2.30-ish. And the reason that we say 2.30-ish is because sometimes it gets so heated that we just have to do a little OT on a Saturday. And it is a Saturday. This is the show where adults come out and play with other adults. We laugh, we cry, we argue, fuss and fight, go back and forth with each other, bust it up all crazy. We take an introspective look into our own personality to see the way that the universe projects us into this thing called the world and try to figure out this thing called life. I am your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the... And if you can't say Omar with the... Well, then you just say Omar with the R. This is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show, and we are talking about messing around with a bald head. So we're talking about the challenges that you may have dealing with somebody who is going through a hair loss journey and how that might that hair loss journey, especially if you a man dealing with a woman who is losing her hair you know women don't deal with it too well women don't deal with the hair loss well yo you can see it you can tell that they mad it's like a second menopause or the first menopause they gonna go down on yours 
They're going to be mad at you for no reason. You wondering why she acting like abandonment treason. And you can't figure it out yet. But if you saw her sink, then it would make you think. Oh, baby, going through a hair loss journey. Maybe she think I'm going to leave her. But I never would do that. I ain't going to lie or even try to deceive you. I'm going to make sure that she feels good by herself. And no matter what happens, I'm going to be there. We the wealth of the fam and of the world. Yo, you are my woman, my lady, and my girl. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Max George says, I live in Netherlands, but I am French. Okay. I've been to, I've been to the Netherlands before. I've been to Holland before. I spent some, I spent a good amount of time, a couple of, not a couple of months, but about six weeks I spent in, it wasn't Amsterdam, but it was right outside of Amsterdam. And what's the name? What's the name of the, um, the train that y'all take to get like to Utrecht and, um, I never thought I would forget this stuff. But it was a long time ago. The Utrecht. I'm getting on the train to go to the Utrecht. Was it Linden? No, no, it wasn't Linden. I don't know. It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. But shout out to the Netherlands. Brian, what up? I said, what's good? And Coco says, hey, he iced up. No, it's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Brian says, what do you think about a little statue? Wait a minute. Oh, AI little statue. <laughs> oh, you talking because it's sixes? Well, ain't all the statues kind of small? As much as I loved AI, ain't like he won no championship here. Did he even retire with the team? I love AI. Don't get me wrong. But AI couldn't, couldn't, he didn't get it done. And I don't think he could have ever got it done. They weren't going to put the team around him that he needed. And he was never going to be able to work with any team that you put around him. It's kind of like, it. now, if you think I'm lying, come on, man. But all of the statues are small. What was they going to do? Give him a, you almost did it bust? We lost, we lost to the Lakers one game to four. Or should I say four games to one? Any way you feel, and we never got back to it. We never got back to the championship. Was it Larry Brown's fault? A little bit. Was it AI's fault? A little bit. You know? I think it was <laughs> I think it was Larry Brown's fault because he should not have put Mutumbo in there. He should not have traded for Mutumbo and and got rid of um Theo Ratliff. Theo was balling. He was balling. He was younger, he was on a come up, he was swatting shit out of the air. He remember he made he made the all-star team that year. Now, he got hurt, but he was coming back, and, you yeah, know, he kind of messed up the chemistry. Because Mutombo couldn't run with – and Shaq just beat the shit out of um, um, Dikembe Mutombo. I mean, he did – anyway. I like men. <laughs> he says, hi. I don't even know what to do about that. My man, FXD. Thanks for coming through, man. Appreciate it. And Emily – Done lap in the house. I said, Emily. What up? And my brother from another mother, Norris Hills, and back. Relax. Do your thing. Max and chill. And he says, until a few months ago, I I was um I used a razor due to medical conditions. Genetically speaking, baldness isn't in the cards. What's what's up, everyone? That's what I'm talking about. What up, my brother? And slime, slime lord goalie says, how much. How much worth of gold is that? Why would I tell you that? I mean, I can understand you asking the question, but if I told you, if I told you something like that, 
What would that help? Would it seem like I was bragging? Or is that some kind of new level of transparency? Because I would never um, go up to somebody else who had chains and be like, yo, how much the chains cost? He would think I was, in my city, he would think I was trying to rob him. I might lose my life um, asking something like that. So I'm going to respectfully um, decline to answer. But just know, these chains are not new. They're pretty old. I got both of these back in 2007, 2008. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I just kept my shit, took care of my shit. I like my chains. Okay, I like Troll, I don't know how you say it. How you say it? Tr Troll GE? <laughs> he says, brother, bro is speaking bars. I appreciate that. He says, uh, you've been nowhere enough with the, with the fake chains. Okay, you think my my chains are fake? You ain't the first person who ever came on here and said, oh, you rock, rocking first, I'm fake chains. All right, just understand this. I'm 53 years old. 53 years old. Maybe you think I look older. Maybe you think I look young, younger. Maybe you think I look exactly that. Why would a 53-year-old who doesn't market his, his, his product to young people, why would I wear fake chains? Do you think that that's going to impress a 40-year-old or a 50-year-old or a 60-year-old? Ain't no babies in this audience. You're not going to find nobody in their 20s watching this show. They don't give a fuck. Even in their 30s, they might not be here. They don't give a fuck. So why would anybody in their 40s and 50s come, come to this show looking for ice and gold? Why? I'm just, you know, just logically speaking, seriously. I ain't mad at you for saying it because you're not the first one and you won't be the last. But why? What would I be getting from it? It's definitely not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for and some understanding about life experiences, because that's what we talk about on this show. We talk about human life experiences. And hair loss is one of those things that can have you fucked up. It can have you fucked up. Like, yo, I ain't going to be able to pull these shorties like I used to be able to do. Or I ain't going to be able to have the men all fawning over me. This might, this might, um, this might uh, affect my sugar, sugar, Sugar daddy appeal. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Brian says, Yul Brenner and Kojak rock rock the baldy 100%. They did. But they were also celebrities. And celebrities can get away with some things as, a, as characters that may not play out in your living room or at your job or at the bar, lounge, club that you go to, at the park. So although Kojak and Yul Brenner rocked the baldy, you didn't see nobody else shaving off their head to be like them. You didn't see anybody. You didn't see a, a mad, mad dash to the barbershop like show. Yo, Kojak is rocking. Yo, I want to. I want to lose my hair like like him. And you know, for white guys, for white guys, normally hair loss, balding, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. I, I have to give a shout out to the white guys nowadays that will shave all of their shit off because they wasn't doing that before. They wasn't. They would. You know, keep that shit around here. It would be bald in here or some George Jefferson shit, but it'd be bald all around there. You know, or they would do like Hulk Hogan did. As you can tell, Hulk Hogan never wanted to lose his hair. It was gone. Come on, Hulk. That bandana you wearing, it ain't fooling nobody. Your shit starting here. And you got these blind locks. You still getting your hair colored? How, how old is Hulk Hogan now? 
about 70. Maybe. He ain't no young man. Let me see. How old is Hulk Hogan? Terry Hulk Hogan. How old is Hulk Hogan? 70 years old. Exactly 70. And look at the picture of this moment. <laughs> he's still, he's still ashamed and scared to, to, to rock a baldy. Still. Don't make no goddamn sense. But hey, in a way I understand. In a way I understand. I guess he figured, look, look I made my money by this look. So I'm going to try to keep this look. But nobody, I don't think people liked Hulk Hogan because he had blonde hair. I don't think they gave a shit about that. His character was what got him where he was. His performance was what got him where he was. So, but yeah, messing around with a bald head. If you are experiencing hair loss or dealing with a, a woman or a man who is experiencing hair loss and they really feel some kind of way about it, they can make it a hard time for you. It may be a really, really tough journey for, for the two of you because, you know, they may be keeping it a secret about how down they are feeling on themselves or or how inadequate they feel or, or how they, they're feeling like they are losing a lot of their their personal attractive appeal. Brian says, The Rock took a minute to shave it off. Yeah. And there's a lot of celebrities out here that have been needing to go ahead and, and, and rock that razor. But they they scared to do it. They scared to do it. And maybe they think, yeah, you know, here's the crazy part about it. We don't normally see celebrities outside of the movies or TV or things you know, that they do anyway. So what difference does it really make? Because if you're going to be in a movie, they're going to make you look the way that they want you to look. They're going to put the hair on you. They're going to put the makeup on you. They're going to put the clothes on you to make you look how they want you to look anyway. So, but if you notice in Hollywood, very rarely do you see them rocking, rocking facial hair. Because they have to try to look as young as possible. In, in Hollywood, well, should I say celebrities and politicians? Look at Joe Biden. Donald Trump. Old as the hills. Ain't got a... At least Joe Biden rocks the gray hair. Donald Trump still, you know what I mean? He got the fake hair. Or whatever he did. I guess he got the implants or whatever. He's still getting his shit dyed. He's still going under tanning lamps. And ain't got a lick of hair on his face. Not a mustache. Not a not a beard. Nothing. Come on, man. But if you look at most politicians, you don't see hair on their face. You don't see them um, going gray. I don't know what that's about. I don't. I do not know what that's about. But it's pretty consistent. My brother from another mother, Norris Hill, says Isaac Hayes. It, it, um, Isaac Hayes is carrying a hot butter soul ball, Baldini like his late father. Man, yeah, you, you. I can't argue with that. Isaac Hayes rocked the Baldy for a long time. And it's funny. Because women back then, just like women now, think of, you know, Baldy is sexy. But I guess when there were so many other options, you could choose. At the time when Isaac Hayes was rocking his Baldy, you also had afros. You had cats perming their hair. And there were braids, not like not like the braids that they wear now, but you had cats, you know, rocking braids and, and all kinds of shit. Come on, man. Okay. Okay. Ryan says, Trump's son rocking the beard. 
Is he a politician though? Just saying. If it you talking about uh what's what's uh jump uh Trump Jr. Don Jr. Yeah, he got a little facial hair. But you can best believe that it's five. I don't know if y'all know that, but Trump used to he basically made his kids look the way that he wanted them to look when they were younger. Real shit. Like he's always had this thing about appearances. And I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about that, that bum ass motherfucker, but yeah, it is what it is. He's very, he has always been very big on the way things look. Himself, the things around him, looking like he got a billion dollars, looking like, you know, those buildings are worth more than they, uh, you know, all kinds of shit, man. But messing around with a bald head, dealing with a man or a woman, woman, the man that's losing their hair, dealing with those mood swings those attitude changes make sure y'all hit the like button y'all make sure y'all hit the like button we should have more likes than this hit the like button please subscribe to the channel share the show it all it does is help the channel we're not going to press you for nothing i'm not going to ask you for any money i'm not asking you to sign anything you're not subscribing to anything that's going to cost you i promise cross my heart all I ask for you to do is to give a like to the show and everything will be all right. All right. So, yeah, dealing with the ball head. You know, a lot of women, a lot of women, especially black women, wearing a lot of weaves and, and, and wigs and stuff like that. And many of those things have been attributed to taking out women's hair. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You were wearing the weave and the wigs to hide your hair. Now your hair, your real hair has fallen out. And now you have to wear more weaves and wigs to cover the hair that isn't there. So you, you might have less to cover now than you had before. Well, that could be a little tough. But for women... Losing their hair may even be like, it may give them the emotions of menopause. You know, you know, those hormonal changes that go, that take place with a woman when she gets a little older and is unable to reproduce any eggs. She's unable to reproduce, she's unable to produce eggs. So there's a hormonal change that's taking place and it can make some women really, really irritable, seem angry, may show signs of depression, crying, getting upset easily, holding on to things that make them upset easily. And all of this stuff can be due to just hair loss. Because she's looking like, look, I need my hair. And um, when I was younger, you didn't see as many people that were suffering major hair loss. You just didn't notice it. You didn't see it. You didn't see. I didn't know a lot of people who were bald. I didn't. I didn't know a lot of people that were bald. I didn't walk down the street and see this bald head, that bald head. It wasn't a it wasn't a normal description of people. Nowadays, if you describe somebody as being bald, you got to give some other details. Like maybe they body build. Like is he fat, skinny, muscular, tall, short? You know, because back in the day, if you told, if you said that they had a bald head, they were going to be e easy to distinguish. Evil, e easy to distinguish out there in the world nowadays shoot you might be talking to some talking about some women there are plenty of women out here who have shaved off their head not all of them have done it because they went through chemo and shout out to all 
all the ladies out there, all of the women. No, how about this? Shout out to every single person out there who has suffered at the hands of cancer, regardless of what the cancer is. Those of y'all battling, those of y'all who lost the battle, those of y'all who are waging a war on it, shout out to all my cancer battling recipients, soldiers, you know, the ones that are fighting, the ones that have fallen. Rest in peace to those. And um, please continue to fight the good fight for those who are still in the, in the battle. All right. Brian says, Philly Cats made it popular, bald, with the beard. Did they really? Because, you know, when we saw Freeway, Freeway doing it, um, the Philly Muslims have been doing this for a while. And it did, it, you know, people were saying, yeah, then he got the Philly beard and, the, you know, the Philly look. I'm like, oh, everybody in Philly don't, didn't look like that. A whole lot of them do now, but not all of them. Not all of them, you know, because it was it was really associated with being a Muslim. So a lot of people ain't want to look like that. They not everybody. Contrary to popular belief, not everybody in Philly is a Muslim. It is a whole lot. Don't get me wrong. A whole lot. Like if you try to just serve pork anywhere in a restaurant in this city, it's going to be a problem. And it doesn't have to be a restaurant. It could be at a cookout like. People going to ask you, what's in them greens? What's that? But yeah. So. Yeah. When Freeway came out. And other people like that. But if you notice. Like the new. The new artists. The new artists that come from Philly. They don't look like that. Not at all. Oh, Brian, you from, okay, you from Philly. That's what's up. They always ask me if I'm Muslim. Are you? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Stacey White says, what about when you take medicine and the side effects is hair loss? What about that? What about that? Now, what medications do you take that would cause hair loss? Because I think that if... If a doctor administered uh, medication to you that caused hair loss, I think that that's something that should be known up front. That's definitely something that should be told to you up front. You should not have to stumble upon something like that. But whatever way you suffer um, from hair loss, my question, especially if... If you were prescribed a medication that, that made your hair fall out, my question would be like, so after you finish this medication, does your hair grow back? Or can you be prescribed an alternative medication that won't take your hair out if it's a medication that you're going to be taking for a long while? Like if this is a, like, I'm not saying that it is, but imagine if if insulin caused hair loss, and you know I mean when you have diabetes, you be you got diabetes. Sure, plenty of people are beat diabetes because they learn what they need to do in order to get off the insulin and 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 um I don't want to say cure diabetes, but to stop being diabetic. How about that? We'll say that. But yeah. Imagine if insulin caused hair loss. So men and women who are treating themselves for diabetes would all be running around here bald. That would be a problem. And you can best believe that that's a problem that would get solved quick. Because it's not a black thing. It's not a white thing. Everybody has diabetes. And I don't mean everybody like I have it and you have it and you know, but I mean, you know.
Yeah, I don't mean like I have it personally or you have it personally, but a lot of people have it. You know, it it, it, it crosses all racial and cultural lines and all of that. Ethnic, racial, cultural lines. So, dealing with hair loss, messing around with a bald head. Oh, you know what I meant to tell y'all? I know we all deep into the show now. You can call into this show. <laughs> I'll be legend. Y'all can call into the show. If you'd like to speak live on the air, the number to call is area code 31952 That's the number to call. I said a 31952 Yes, 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 y'all. I said a 31952 Yeah, get on the line. I said a 31952 Yeah, get your shine, baby. Oh. Uh. Get your shine, baby. Oh, get your shine, baby. Oh, get your shine, baby. Three one nine five two seven six one nine nine, baby. Call that number. Press number one, and that will let me know that you would like to speak, and then I will call you out by the last four digits of your telephone number. You can rock out, rock on, and do the, the damn, 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 do the, do the, the, do the damn thing. We are talking about messing around with a bald head, dealing with a woman that is losing her hair. And, and dealing with a woman that's losing her hair is like dealing with a woman that wants to wear makeup and you don't want her to wear makeup. Very rarely. Now, I'm not I can't speak for all men, but very rarely have I heard a man say that you need to use some more makeup. I don't like the way you look. You need to put some more some makeup on you so I can find you attractive. I don't know if y'all have ever heard a man say it, but I've never heard a man say that. <laughs> Stacy White says the background looks nice. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that. I do. Now I know that there are men, plenty of men who like makeup. But I've just I just don't know any men that encourage their woman to wear makeup. I'm not saying that there aren't. I just don't know any. And I haven't heard any. Stacey White says that now that's where my problem is. I love my makeup. Is that a fact? Now, what's there to love about makeup? What do you love about makeup? Um, women who wear heavy makeup. Like you don't know what they look like. But you're going to see a very big transformation from how they look when they have on makeup and when they don't. And trust me, more than likely, the makeup is, no, I, I you know what, I was about to say, more than likely, the look with the makeup is gonna look a lot better, but that's not always true. Because some women put so much makeup on that they look like clowns. I don't really wanna talk about makeup, but I, I think it's hard to talk about hair without talking about makeup for women because they associate the you know the two the hair and the makeup i even know women who've shaved all their hair up and they got a face full of makeup go figure how does it work it works the way it works shaved all your hair off still looking cute but you got on all this makeup eyelashes and all that stuff is it to remind everybody that you know you're still a woman and you're still feminine i've never known a woman to to lose her hair and then me think that she was a man it doesn't work that way but you have to understand the mentality of a lot of people especially when you're going through that because you you may you may feel that everybody is looking looking at you in a certain type of way they might not even know you are going through a hair loss journey. They don't know, but you know. And sometimes when you know something about yourself and you're real sensitive about it, it gives you the suspicion and the paranoia that everybody can tell what you're thinking and how you're feeling. They all know. Not true. Okay. Stacy White says, it has my flaws or you are you saying it enhances your flaws. She says, I wear makeup to enhance myself. 
Y'all say it enhances y'all. I'm just going to respectfully disagree. My man Brian, he definitely from Philly. He said, Patty Jackson, Patty Jackson at eyelashes. Now, Patty Jackson is a radio personality that goes way back. Everybody know him. Patty Jackson eyelashes. I call them eye awnings. You know, an awning like with you a, a porch that's covered to, to keep the sun out and provide some shade. The awning, you know, you can roll the, some of the awnings back, put it back out there. Yeah, eye awnings, baby. Yo, man, you got to watch out for them long ass eyelashes. First of all, I've never heard a man say that they like that shit. I haven't heard one man, not one man say, yo, she would look a lot better if she had some long ass eyelashes. Looking like Snuffle Up against about, about this bitch. I've never heard it. I've never heard it. Brian says some men use hair color to build up their hairline. It would be nice if we couldn't tell, wouldn't it, Brian? Wouldn't it be nice if we couldn't tell that's, that that's what they doing? Yeah. You know, I don't know how old you are, Brian. But I know you remember when cats was putting that Bijan shit, putting that Bijan in their hair. The Bijan was one thing. But once you start using the marker to fill in, and it's like, yo, dude, ain't no hair there. Once you have to start drawing on your beard, and once you got to start drawing your hairline, come on, man. Now I'm seeing celebrities do it, and it's so obvious to us. I don't know if it's like Philadelphia, um, um, Philadelphia nigga identification that we have on these cats. But I'll be watching these celebrities. I'll be like, I was watching this TV show. Remember the show Everybody Hates Chris? Well, the 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 kid who played Chris Chuck, I mean Chris um Chris Rock. In the, on, on the show back in the day and he, he's now a grown man and he plays on this show it's a good show too, it's funny it, 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 the humor is in the vein of The Office I don't know if y'all like the show The Office but I love that shit, I love the way that humor is set up, and this is set up the exact same way, but it's about teachers, it's about a Phil Philadelphia teacher um, 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 school, it's about a Philadelphia elementary school and they uh <laughs> Brian said I used to do it. I ain't ready. Hold on, chill, chill. You jump too fast. But the show is about a Philadelphia uh public school, whatever. And um and the uh um the boy who played uh everybody who loves Chris, he's on the show. And you can clearly see they got him all bijined up, and I'm looking like what if he didn't? Would it make the like? What if he didn't dye his hair? First of all, ain't nobody with hair that black. That shit is blackity black. It's black as this screen. Is that gonna make people say, "I'm not watching the show"? He don't have enough hair, or. But my man Brian said I used to do it. Like, yo, man, that Bijan shit. I remember one time when I had hair, my 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 barber was like, "Yo, you want to rock?" And hell no. First of all, I used to be mad at y'all Bijan using motherfuckers because I'm ready to get in the chair, and that Bijan shit took a long time. I'm like, come on, man, damn Bijan. I'm I'm thinking he, that he about to get out the chair. Next thing you know, he leaned his ass back. I'm like, oh, no. Ah! I'm about to get a new barber. And that spray shit. He used to take like a, a card. He would take like a card and try to spray my shit. I used to be like, what you doing? 
He's like, no, nah, I'm just going to take. No, no, you ain't doing shit. Fuck it. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. It's like money. My hair was like money. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. If I got it, I got it. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. My hair was like money. If I got it, then I got it. If I ain't got it, then you can't have it. Yeah, I would like to let you borrow a little something, hold a little something, but I ain't got nothing. And my hair, it was on my head. I couldn't make it what it wasn't. I wasn't cornbread fed. And I'ma tell you like this, tell you like that. My hair wasn't thin, it wasn't fat. Started going away when I was about 32, 33, 34, 35. It was no more. I was out of the game. Couldn't go to the shop no more. Except the rock the chains. Or maybe get the beard done. I ain't getting the beard done. But shake up my own shit. Shake up my own shit. Going to a goddamn barbershop and get my, my beard shaked up. Crazy. Give me. Costs a lot. From what I understand, barber. You know, getting anything you go. Getting the barber now costs like $20, $30. That takes me back to 1990. 1990. What? Like 1992. 1993, Philadelphia Hair Company over here on Germantown Avenue and shit. Them high ass um um haircuts, making these dudes look ex extra pretty. Washing your hair, I ain't never go to no barber shop and get my hair washed. Why? I wash my hair at the crib. You know, you be we got the girls here. They wash your hair. You gotta tip them though. I'm like, this is this is expensive ass haircut. By that, by the time everything is said and done, you gonna spend thirty dollars on a haircut? In 1992? It's unheard of. What was the boy name who owned the... I can't remember. Nobody named me. The boy who used to own the Philadelphia Hair Company. Um. Anyway. You know, shout out to him. And if you're from Philly, y'all know what this look is about. Like, yeah, shout out to him. I think his name was Mark. I think his first name was Mark. As a matter of fact, I'm sure of that. Anyway, Brian says, Dobbins Tech for life. Dawn Staley, the real champ. Salute to Dawn Staley. Salute to motherfucking Dawn Staley. Like, talk about being successful. She is what I call me a success. What's going on, Care Bear? Thanks for coming through there. See, I love the black background. I'm feeling good now. That's what's up. So it's smart business to have girls washing hair. Yeah, unless your name is Omar McIntyre. And I don't give a fuck. Nope, I already, already washed my hair. Then, so when cats start saying they already washed their hair or they didn't want the hair washed, they was like, well... You might as well go ahead and let her wash your hair because it's the same price anyway. Yeah, that's what they did. It was it started. So from what I understand now, you go to the barbershop, you might you might drop $50. Like I'm like, on what? I ain't seen a haircut that I thought was fly since the probably since the 90s. <laughs> Real shit. Like, I don't know what these. <laughs> no, that's not true. I saw this young boy. This young boy who had a block. This shit was kind of. I was like, this, look at you. Huh. Took it all the way back to 85 for me. Care Bear says it costs $30 for my son. Did I, give, did I go being cheap again? I'm not paying $30 for a haircut. For I'm going to add on another $30 and I'm going straight, straight to the beauty supply store and get me a pair of clippers. Get me a pair of Andis clippers. That's what's going to happen. If I got to pay $30 for a cut, I'm getting a pair of Andis clippers. The masters. Get me some guards on that shit. And we about to start practicing. Yeah, we're going to look, our shit going to look a little jacked up, but I'm going to get the hang of this shit. I got you. Keep the line, 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 keep the line. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. Get us, we're going to get some clippers and we're going to get some edgers. That's what's going to happen. And we're going to get good at this shit. 
Matter of fact, we're going to start cutting other people hair. Now, I don't need no license to cut no hair. I need skills. The best barbers I knew, no bullshit. The best barbers that I've ever known were not the ones that had a barber's license. They was just some 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 dudes from around the way who cut hair in their basement. And they was getting all the money. Making appointments. Yo, man, I gotta go see Todd. I gotta, I gotta go see Todd. You know what I mean? He got like five five people in front of me. I got, yeah, man, Todd, man. Yo, know, man, he, he all that with the clippers, but you know what I mean? The motherfucker be having too many people in there. And then he, you think you about to get a cut. And as soon as you about to get a cut, he, he, he talking about he ain't ate all day. You know what I'm saying? He fucking around with his girl, his his son or his daughter, you know. So he shutting this shit down for a minute. Everybody in there just waiting while he eating a, a, a he eating a platter from I don't know somewhere, some one of them little breakfast breakfast and lunch spots. You know what I mean? That the chains on. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, my hair be looking good as shit when I come from there, man. But I be having to wait too long, man. Tired. Tired, man. Tired, man. <laughs> Brian says, yup, I got them clippers. And Cameron says, I bought clippers. Yup. $30 to make you do it quick. Quick. No, I said, I'd rather spend 15 at the barber college. That includes a tip. At my discretion. Hmm. I do miss my basement basement home though. Mm. Messing around with a ball head. Messing around with a ball head. Yeah, man. Some people get really, really upset when they when they start losing their hair. You know, you but women. They already be, you know, some women already be fussing about their hair. You know, you ever deal with a woman who has nice hair or good grade of hair or whatever? And when I say good, I don't mean, you know, the stereotypical black, black insecurity good. I mean, good as in it's nice hair. You look at it. it look, you know, I like the way you wear your hair. Yeah, it does what it's supposed to do. Like you can comb it. You can brush it. You can split it, grease it, part it, whatever, you know. I mean, you might be dealing with a woman who already has been having problems with her hair. It ain't acting right. And she had, She's having bad hair days every day, even though the shit look good. And let her shit start falling out. It might be the end of the world for her in her mind. What the hell was that noise? I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Let me find out the squirrels in the backyard getting busy. And I don't mean sexual busy. They're out there doing something. They're out there doing something. But anyway, but yeah. You know, dealing with a woman who's already been having problems with her hair, and then that shit starts falling out. So it was already not, you know, she was already bitching about not being able to style it the way she wanted to style it. And she might have been asking you questions about, like, what would you think if I got this done or that done? Or what would you think if I got a little, if I put like a little hair in it? Or can I get a weed? Or would you be mad at me if I got a wig? <laughs> Brian says, where your cat? <laughs> Here's the cat. Hey, yo, cat. Oh, Brian. My man, bro. Man, I ain't seen you in so long. Now I know who I'm talking to. It all makes sense now. My man, Brian. What's going on, G? How you feel? I'm talking to you like you knew around here. You like, well, you know, you ain't never had no um no profile picture. I don't know. Anybody can come through here talking about Brian. They name Brian. 
I don't know. I don't know. That's right. Magnificent Morocco. Magnificent Morocco. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. So, yeah, man. Yeah. So, you know, if your woman is going through a hair loss journey and she, and she has, you know, she, you know, she might be snapping. She might be tripping. She might be crying. She might need a hug. You know what I mean? It might be something that liquor can't take care of. No, she ain't smoking the blunt. She might get to thinking like, yo, maybe it's because I was smoking blunts. I heard that 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 that, that uh, weed can take your hair out. You know, motherfuckers be coming up with all kinds of shit. Be all kinds of theory. theories. Well, weed, smoking weed um, causes hair loss, but but the CBD, CD, CBD oil you rub that shit in and it'll actually bring your hair back. What you know? What you know? Okay, it says, even remembered who he was. Even I remember who he was and I don't know him. So? So what? So what? Last time his name wasn't Brian. It was like Bryson. Okay, I'm lying. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> that joint on ESPN rocking the baldy. Who? Heard that? You got a chick on ESPN? I mean, typically women who who have the balls. Well, maybe they got the women who have the titties to, to to um to cut off their hair. They normally look kind of cute. I don't see too many ugly chicks that that went ahead and shaved their hair their hair off. I'm talking about me. Y'all may know people, but I haven't seen it. I don't prefer a bald head, but the women that I've seen with bald hair, we're like, well. She might have no hair, but she's always a woman to me. She stole all your razors, but she's always a woman to me. She says, oh, yes, she a dime. Well, well, I say a well, well, I say a well, well. Well, well, I, I didn't know. Who is the female ESPN personality who has a bald head? According to Sportskeeda, Christine Williamson certainly has a unique look. The ESPN host sports a stylish bald look that makes her stand out from the rudinary hairstyles of most female reporters and TV hosts. Hmm. Oh, she's cute. And she definitely wears the makeup to to make sure you know. You know what I mean? Don't make no mistakes. She's going to wear these earrings. She will, you know, put this makeup on, this eyeliner, the shadow, and all that kind of shit. <laughs> I wonder why she shaved her hair. I wonder, I wonder. He's cute. He's a little thin for me. Yeah, I mean, he's a little thin for me, but you know. Definitely not gonna make no mistakes about who's who or what she is. Cool. All right. Good looking on that. Good looking. Good looking on that. Good looking on that. Jewel Utrat. All right, cool. Stacy White says, I. 
no, I don't think I will ever shave my hair. I might slick my hair back. I know I would never encourage a woman to cut off her hair. Oh, hold on, hold on. Like what? Like what? What? But I do know some women who needed to do it who wouldn't do it. But they were sad as fuck about it. Some women is for some women it's the end of the world. Because they suffering hair loss. Like it's personal as hell. That's right, Nars. But she's all she steals all my razors, but she's always a woman to me. Somebody get me. Somebody get me a harmonica up in this bitch. Jaden Pinkett? Nah, we ain't. I ain't fucking with that one. I ain't fucking with her hair or no hair. That bitch could. She could have hair the the the, the length of Crystal Gale. I don't. Yeah. But I never really thought Jada was all that cute. That, cute, yes. But I, I I I I never understood. I never understood the the allure. I I never understood it. I'm like. When Will start fucking with it, I was like, he must have got her on a discount. But that's that, that's just the way I felt. You know, dudes used to be like, you know, Jada Pink at this, Jada Pink. I'm like, but you know how niggas is. Any, any, anybody on that TV screen, anybody on that movie screen, People just lose all of their sense of reality. But I was like, no. Stacy says, you don't have to be bald unless you just want to be bald. No, some women, some women that I know, they need, they had to shave all that shit off. Whether they went through chemo, you know, um, alopecia, whatever. So there are some women who's like, yo, you got to, you going to have to reset the clock. Turn the hourglass over. You got to start all over, ma. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. And some women, I know that they would not do it. Like, I can't do it. I won't do it. I ain't doing it. The world can't see me like this. It can't, it can't happen. Now imagine being the man of somebody. Imagine being the man of a woman who felt that way. Strong. Where cutting her hair would be like. Putting a cat who hates water into the water. And I have to say a cat who hates water. Because not all cats hate water. But the ones who do. They take it real personally. When you put them in some water. Like yo what is wrong with you. Campion says she was stunning in person before before the Botox. I met her in Brooklyn and, and, and was shocked at her beauty. Who are you talking about? Because I know who you're not talking about. <laughs> you must be talking about the ESPN chick, Christine. Uh, Christine Williamson, you must be talking about her. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Jada, nineteen ninety seven. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I mean, nah, I'm cool. She wasn't. She never ugly, but it was just. Nineteen, not nineteen ninety four, nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety six, nineteen ninety. But it's different strokes for different folks. Just because she was never beautiful to me doesn't mean that she wasn't beautiful. Evidently, it doesn't mean that she wasn't beautiful to everybody else.
Yeah. But men go through it too. Some men, you, know, you you ever see a dude go from go from braids to to from you, you ever clock a man's journey from going from braids to a baldy? You know, or dreads. He got long dreads, and you know you can see now. There's no clear explanation for how or why you would have um, um, dreads and then you suffering with hair loss. But I've seen it. Yeah, he got dreads, but not everywhere on that head. Them dreads, is, they jump and ship. AG4. Mm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> all right, all right, AG4. I'm gonna give you the floor. Go ahead. Come on, come on. Give me a little, you know, rock out. Let's see. Fake chains. Um, how did I meet my boyfriend? What else? And I'm weird as fuck. Okay. What else? Come on. I'm giving you the floor. I did, this might not happen again. But, you know. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I know you can do better than that. Unless you're gone already. Let me give him a few seconds. Okay, there we go. Why don't you get off the internet? How... How you giving advice looking like that? Okay. All right. Come on. I'm going I'm to give you one more. Okay. All that fake jewelry. Who's it for? Okay. All right. Come on. More, 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 more. Come on. Because I, I know. Come on. I know you got it in you. you now, but you kind of repeating the same lines. I'm looking for original material. The fake chain shit. It's, it, if you go up. If you go up on the comments a little bit, you'll see the fake chain thing. You'll see that. So somebody did it before you. So I don't want you recycling material. If you want to be a good troll, you got to come with the fly shit. 90 seconds. You know, I mean, I need you to come with the good shit. Who let Unc use the smartphone today? Come on, man. All right, but that's better. That's better than the chains, you know what I mean? What else? Come on, come on, come on. I'm giving. No, says no. Don't block him. Don't block him. Let him rock. Let him rock. I can't block him um, from where I am. Where's Car? No, don't do. Do not block him. Let him. Let him rock. Let him rock. But I want him to get better. Seconds. You know, because at least at at this at this at this channel he can get some traction. You know what I mean? I know he probably goes to other channels. And they like. Man, let's get this motherfucker out of here. So, no, nah, let him... Let, let, go ahead, rock out. Show us your two-bedroom house. Okay, all right, now. Okay, okay, okay. What else? What else? At least he's not recycling. I'm trying to help this dude. See, that's what I do. I help. I, 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 I help. You probably the type to refer to yourself as king. What's, what kind of word is that? King unironic, unironically, or are you trying to say King ironically? Like, what are you saying? <laughs> what else? I'm trying to train this bull. All right, take it back to my comedian days. You know what you could say. You could say that I was too old to be rocking the chains. Okay, bro has third grade education. Nah, that's corny. You know, this is the internet. Nobody even gives a fuck about your education, you dumbass. Learn how to read before giving advice, fool. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 
oh, okay. Adverb, in a way that is not ironic or mock or mocking, without affection. He was happy, healthy. <laughs> he was a happy, healthy baby. And for the first few years of his life, he was referred to unironically as, uh, at daycare as Mr. Now I'm impressed. Look at you. Look at you. Y'all see what he did? Yo, he gave me a... All right, we're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere here. Unironically is a word. It is. He did it. Now, or is it, or is it, oh, it's unironically. Oh, unironically. It's not a word that you would, fuck it, he used it. <laughs> fuck it. Unironically. Unironically. Okay. Oh, because I mean, because he's a troll. He ain't. Yo, he needs more attention than I do. I got the camera and the mic. Look, mic. But he needs this shit. He ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> he ain't got nothing to do. He needs this shit. And I'm, I'm letting him get his shit off. Okay. He says, yes, look it up for all of us to hear. Your chat really is slow as, really as slow as you. You're pronouncing it wrong. Wow, Unc needs to go back to school. Still saying it wrong. Bro, you just trolled yourself. Bro. Bro. I don't even use that word. I never call nobody bro, dog. That's a, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've never, I don't, have I ever called somebody bro? I don't think so. But like I said, I got the mic and the camera, but you need love. You do. You need love. You need affection. And, and you know, I could have shut you down a long time ago, but I told you I was going to let you rock. And I did. You taught us all a new word. Now you think like, look, I won. What'd you get? Show me your prize. Show me your prize. There's nothing better to do and nobody else to fuck with. Come out of the comedic, comedic retirement for a second. He ain't got no material. I mean, you know, like, but, but normally we get better trolls on this show. He's the, he, uh, he needs a little work. He needs a little work. But anyway, we about to get on the body here anyway. He says you refer to people as okay. Now you want okay. Probably you know, needs to hang out with his peers at the bingo club. See, this is the way this works. Every time he comments, he gets me into the algorithm. You understand what I'm saying, Norris? So as he comments more and more, this actually helps the channel. That's why I told him to rock out. So I don't know if he knows this. I don't know if he knows that he's actually helping. But this is a monetized channel. So you know what happens? He trolls. He gets nothing. Maybe personal satisfaction. I get a check. Algorithm really letting you down though. <laughs> you stream into two people. Watch the number when the, when the show ends. Watch the number when the show ends. That's what you need to do. Watch the number when the show ends. It doesn't matter right now. Trust me. Matter of fact, go to my channel and watch the numbers of all the shows. Educate yourself, since you're such a smarty. So Stacy White says, happy weekend. Happy weekend to you, AD4 says. Ain't nobody giving you a cent on this stream. Okay. I know you're not, but you are helping me to get one. And, and Emily says, Brian, he always gets haters on here. They're just making him, making him greater. 
So let's do these birthday shout outs. We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. April 13th, and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box. My man Khalid X Henry. Turning 30 years old today, happy birthday to you. And also April Brown Johnson, happy birthday. And Kendra Edwards and Gregory McIntyre, no relation. But what up, guys? Do the damn thing. And also Jay Warren, turning 43 years old today. And last but not least, uh, last but not least, last but not, uh, last but not least, my people's Antonio Goodman. I want to say happy birthday to all of y'all. And I hope that today finds you all in good health, happiness, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And that goes out to each and every person out there born on this glorious, glorious, glorious April 13th. Anywhere out in the world, worldwide, internationally, and universally. All of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up. But don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. A rock out. Rock on it. Do the damn, the damn, the rock out. Rock on it. Do the, 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 the damn rock out. Rock on it. Do the damn thing. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, the, any, the, rrr, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours, and remember, man, your hair loss journey, and uh, your hair is coming on out, and uh, you feel, yo, it happens to the best, but it, and that's not going to have a real effect on the way you look. Let your light shine, and make sure it shines bright, and comb your hair, grease it up right, and if it goes away, yo, yo, lay down and pray, but just know you're going to be okay. And if you really don't think so, it's cause you feel like you're on some other shit and you're thinking and stinking, but it's gonna be good, it's gonna be right. Things work themselves out the way they do. Tonight will be better than the day before, and the next day will be better than today for sure. You're the king of your own domain. You might be a queen, but look, losing your hair. Keeping your hair, it's not the if you if you have hair, it's not the beginning of the world. And if you lose your hair, it's not the end of the world. Love is love, baby. You know, because whether you have hair or not, you might have trolls like AG4 coming through and helping out. Peace to all my day ones, my everydays, and my brand news. I love y'all to death, resuscitate y'all, I love y'all right back to life. We will be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure y'all come on through. You too, AG4. You do it. You do it. Let me see. All right. So, blog talk, we're going to get you out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for my YouTubers, you know just how we do, but thanks for coming on through. See you on the other side, my boobers. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you share the show. Subscribe to the channel, AG4. Why not? You know you love it. I know you do. I know you do. So we're going to holler back. Peace.